and we are back again with some more Fortnite news, just some brief stuff to talk about, plus a little theory, which I think is actually really interesting. I think we should definitely, definitely talk about. So first things first here, first day of the World Cup or first weekend of the World Cup solos competition. It was a lot of fun to watch, guys. I mean, I watched at least 12 plus hours of competitive play slash just streamers in general over the last two days. So it's it's been a lot, okay? And I had a lot of homework to do and I decided not to do it. So anyways, besides the point, we have our little list of the qualifiers for week one. So here is the little list of qualifiers. Slay a top Fax Fox, E11 Stompy, TQ, NRG, Benji Fish, I know him, H Reds, Bilal, <laughs> don't even know how to say that guy's name, LDLC Nate, um, not, not a lot of familiar names here, Sin Booga, I do know him, uh, Dubs FN, Ghost Bizzle, of course, TSM Commandment, Liquid Vivid, and 100, T 100 Thieves Cease. So that is our list of qualifiers i don't know if you guys watched any of the qualifiers or even interested in it but if you guys are interested in knowing who qualified this is the 10 no this is more than 10 isn't it wow this is well more oh well over 10 i wonder uh, how many people are going to qualify each week that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 for that's not going to add up 15 for 10 weeks is definitely not going to add up well every other week so then 15 for five weeks will be 90 players plus i wonder where they get the last 10 from huh anyways so that's your qualifiers right now though uh just to put that on your radar i don't know if you guys are going to watch next week it's going to be duos competition so it's going to be duos on saturday semifinals finals on sunday it starts at approximately three o'clock eastern time or no central center time so 4 p.m. Eastern time, and then you guys can do the conversions from there. But anyways, moving on into the theory. I think the theory is really, really interesting. We should definitely talk about it. So theory here, Fortnite Insider. Go ahead and give them a follow. I believe that's the name of their actual account. I could be wrong. So Epic Games haven't introduced a new map to Fortnite, but instead have been updating the current one by removing POIs, adding new ones, and other minor changes. Some of these changes may relate to the storyline, such as Kevin the Cube moving around in Season 6 and in this season. We have a helicopter moving around the map and new excavation sites appearing around the map. The last excavation site found was in Loot Lake, and at the bottom of the site, there was a piece of metal, which cannot be destroyed. The excavation team have now moved, but they are still in Loot Lake, as can be seen in the image below. So they're still here right on the edge. It is thought that another excavation site will appear, but it will not appear until the next update as data miner Fort Troy has found the dig site files previously, but none have been found in V8.30. So I don't think that, you know, there'll be new dig sites. That's what Fort Troy goes ahead and said. He is one of the leakers, but we don't usually get too much information from him, but he does leak a few things for us here and there. Moving on along here. No one knows why the excavation spots have appeared, but the most popular theory is that someone is looking for the remains of Kevin as the last piece is last place the cube was seen is in the middle of loot lake and it seems they are taking a closer look at loot lake reddit user toolbox 007 has suggested that there may be another reason why loot lake will have another site as can be seen below now this theory actually is grounded in a little bit of realistic principles of you know digging in certain sites and stuff like that so when archaeologists are exploring a site they will often dig one by one meter test pits to see what's there the first three dig sites may have been similar and they found what they were looking for at site three each test pit only has three excavators after they found the loot layer they brought in 10 excavators because they found what they were looking for the helicopter may have been searching from the air if they were looking for kevin they would have already known where he was and then that's just kind of that all transcribed again. And he went on to explain more in the comments. So with the excavators unloading on the east shore of Loot Lake, it looks like that's going to be the dig, the big dig. It might seem obvious that this has something to do with Kevin since that's where the, his remains are and where the energy goop or whatever it was dropping the swelling hole in the ground. But it's very possible that this is something completely different. If the government was looking for anything to do with Kevin, they wouldn't have had to search at all it's been sitting in the middle of the lake since season six instead we've got a helicopter circling the island and what looks like test pits being dug in three different spots the first three digs from form an almost straight line from the desert to loot lake if they hadn't found what they were looking for it seems reasonable they would have kept digging along that line so that's the reason why you know they kind of stopped so i really hope they don't dig up loot lake i think it's perfect right now it actually has loot and is a fun place to fight the scenery is nice and i would rather not have the disturbed re kevin remains but my gut feeling is this is going to end up being a new poi maybe not right now but by the start of season nine the loot layer 
under the big metal door or lid or whatever it is might indicate there's a lot more underground in this area that could be basis for a new POI. Maybe mines like you see in STW or something. Whatever happens, change is coming to like it seems. Epic have hidden hint have Epic have hidden the week eight loading screen for the discovery challenge. And so it seems that the next update will require some downtime, meaning we could see some huge map changes and possibly an event, but only time will tell. So that's an interesting theory, guys. I don't think there's much to really discuss about that other than the fact that, yes, it's probably going to continue that Kevin's storyline and it's not a surprise. And I actually do like the little part where he mentions that loot lake turns into loot layer. Now, it went from loot lake to leaky lake back to loot lake and then on to loot layer i mean it makes sense that loot lake didn't have that much loot but maybe there's a bunch of stuff underneath and there was that little like kind of underground part underneath the main house so potentially there was you know some form of mining going on underneath that that was just maybe hidden or covered up so we don't really know but that's it that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like sub up share around let me know what you guys think in the comments and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace